everybody, it's Pastor Caitlin from South Point Christian Church in Lincoln, Nebraska, where we welcome all, feed the soul, and serve with joy, which is a perfect segue to our topic for today, which is serving others. I know all of us are cooped up in our houses, and it's kind of a challenging time, so one of the best things we can do is tell stories to one another, and the best stories that I know come from the Bible, and Jesus has some really good lessons to teach us while we're all stuck inside with one another. So today, we are going to be learning about serving one another, which is something we can do from our homes. And I want to introduce you to a few things we're using for our lessons today. One, I want to give credit to the Betty Lukens uh, Felt Series. Thank you, Jeffrey's family. Um, we got this as a donation this year, and I'm really excited to use this teaching tool. We are going to be reading out of two Bibles today, Growing in God's Love, a story Bible, and that's by Elizabeth Caldwell and Carol Werheim, editors. And secondly, the Bible that you guys see every week is the Bible story book from Deep Blue series that we usually um, do lessons from each week to our story today. First of all, I just want to have you think about in your minds, what is a way that you can serve one another? I'll give you some thinking time. Hmm. How do we serve each other? Today's story comes from um, the text of Luke, and it talks about the Passover meal. And Passover was a special holiday. I know many of you serve, or uh, many of you celebrate holidays like Christmas and Easter's coming up. Some of you even have birthdays that might be coming up. And one thing that we do is have meals together when we celebrate. And that's no different than it was in Jesus' time. Jesus celebrated by having meals with his friends and followers, the disciples. And so today, they were celebrating Passover. So open your ears, open your hearts, and open your mind to how God's story can transform your lives. Here we go. When people celebrated holidays, they often celebrate special meals together. When Jesus and the disciples went into Jerusalem on the day that we call Palm Sunday, it was the time for the Passover festival. Jewish people traveled from all over Jerusalem. They came to remember how God sent Moses to lead them out of slavery into the promised land. An important part of this celebration was the Passover meal. You guys have one, a dining room table, I hope, where you celebrate your special holidays. So let's scoot in here a little bit. See our table there. Jesus sent his friends, Peter and John, into the city, and he said, find a place where we can eat the Passover, Passover meal together. Where do you want us to prepare the meal, they said. We don't live here, they asked. Jesus said, you will meet a man carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him up the stairs and he will show you a special guest room in his house. Peter and John went to Jerusalem. They saw the man with the pitcher of water. He showed them upstairs to the guest room where the meal for Passover could be prepared. Later, Jesus led all of his disciples to the upstairs room to have their Passover meal. They shared in lamb, vegetables, herbs dipped in wine. And after the meal, Jesus said, Thank you for celebrating this meal with me. It might be a long time until we get to eat together again. After the meal was over, Jesus stepped down from the table and knelt down on the floor. He took his pitcher of water and a rag, and he decided to wash the feet of his friends. His friend said, Jesus, what are you doing? Asked Peter. I don't want you to wash my feet. They're probably pretty stinky. 
My feet are so dirty. Besides, it's the job of a servant to wash feet. It's not your job, our teacher. Peter, it's important that I wash your feet. So Peter let Jesus wash his dirty feet. When Jesus finished washing everybody's feet, he took the towel and the pitcher of water and put them away. Do you understand why I did the job of a servant and washed your feet? Jesus asked his friends. No, said Peter and his friends, shaking their heads. I wanted to show you God's love, said Jesus. So even though I'm your teacher, I did the job of a servant and washed your feet. I want you to serve others so that you can see that helping others is one way to show God's love. So my friends, this is the story of Jesus and his Passover feast that he had with his disciples, his beloved disciples, his friends. And what does he teach us? He teaches us to serve one another in love. So I want you to think today, how can you show your family at home that you're serving them in love? Today, I'm going to be doing pedicures with my boys, Isaac and Finn, and maybe even Pastor Steve will chime in if he's willing to have some fun and to love each other in service to God and one another. And again, this is Caitlin Mason with South Point Christian Church, where we welcome all, we feed the soul, and we serve with joy. Until next time, let's pray. Creator God, we thank you that you call us beloved children of God, that you call us to wash one another's feet and to serve one another in love. We thank you, Jesus, that you were able to teach us through your stories of service. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks, guys. Till next time at Fireside Children's Church. See you later. Bye.